So this is the uh, balloon model of integers. Uh, just another model to help you uh, hopefully understand better uh, adding and subtracting integers. So uh, to start off with, you can see this balloon in here. And it is right now at an altitude of 0. And it's basically, it's inflated. Uh, it can fly up, it can fly down. But we, in order for it to do that, uh, we need to add and subtract things to it. So I'm going to start off with a basic problem here. Oh, first of all, the sandbags here, um, sandbags are going to make the balloon go down. One sandbag will make it drop uh, an altitude of 1. Um, so we have a sandbag value of negative 1. Uh, and we also have an airbag here, uh, which is filled with air, uh, and something like helium or hydrogen, that will make the balloon go up. And it has a value of 1, because you add one of those in there, it will make the altitude rise by 1. Uh, so uh, we're going to try uh, use an example of a problem here to uh, show how this works. Okay. If we have uh, an altitude of 2, and in order to get there, I need to put in a couple of airbags into here. So I'm going to add a couple of airbags on here. When that happens, uh, it's going to float up to an altitude of 2. So now that it's at 2, uh, what I'm, if I'm adding minus 1, what does that mean? Well, I'm adding one of these sandbags uh, to my model. And I'm going to put a sandbag on top of here. And that's going to pull it down 1. And so what's my final answer here? Uh, I have 2 plus minus 1, uh, giving me an altitude total of 1, a net altitude, after I've uh, put those both together. OK. So now, uh, let's try from there. Let's start off. We have an altitude of 1. So I'm going to start off with the number 1. And I'm going to subtract 2 from that to see what happens. Well, subtracting 2, well, those are two positive uh, things that I'm subtracting. So I'm taking away two of these uh, airbags. So if I take away those two airbags, which make it float higher, it's going to float lower. By, in fact, it's going to go down two because those two balloons pushed it up two. Now it's going to drop down two. So I've pulled that away. And now, uh, what, where, where do I end up after dropping down two? Well, I end up at an altitude of minus one. Um, or, let's say I started back at one again. The other option I could have done to get to the same place was I could have taken that same altitude starting of 1. And I could have, instead of taking away two of the airbags, I could have added two sandbags, which each have a value of minus 1. So I'm adding a value of minus 2. So if I add on two more uh, sandbags in here, now I've got three sandbags. That's going to uh, make it heavier. Uh, the balloon is going to drop 2 until uh, it's at minus 1, which is where we were uh, with the other problem. The altitude dropped to minus 1. But there are two different ways. So in other words, another way of looking at this is um, subtracting 2 uh, of these airbags is going to give us the same result as if we were going to add uh, 2 of these sandbags. In other words, uh, subtracting 2 will give us the same result as adding a minus 2, uh, which is why uh, we, we end up with the same result of an altitude of minus 1. OK, let's try another example. Let's say we're going to start off at an altitude of minus 1 now. OK, so I'm going to take away all of this except for one of the sandbags. That's going to give me an altitude of minus 1. So I have one sandbag on there. I'm at an altitude of minus 1. And now, um, if I'm going to subtract 3. Now, a lot of people have trouble with this kind of problem when they're not thinking about it in terms of the model. A minus 1 and a minus 3, and they get some interesting answers in there. But notice that they're both negative. So the fact that I'm taking away 3, what does that really mean? It means I'm taking away uh, 3 uh, airbags in this. And in this particular model, I don't have three airbags. 
Okay, there's, they're, they're not in here. So, so maybe if I, well, how do I create that situation so that it makes sense? Well, what if, if I add a one balloon and one airbag, they cancel each other out. So I'm going to end up with still at minus one because those two things, I added one positive and one negative, that cancel each other out. And now I'm going to do that again. Add one sandbag and one airbag. They cancel each other out. And I'll do that one more time. Let's do one from over here. Add one more airbag. So I've got four of these and three of the uh, airbags. So now, again, I'm still at minus one. That's my starting point. But this time, when I take away three, I'm subtracting three positive numbers. I'm going to subtract three of these things that are, these three things that are pushing the balloon up. Now if I take them away, uh, that balloon is going to move down because uh, we've taken away three of those things pushing it up. So I'm going to drop down one, two, three, uh, three uh, measures of altitude in this here. So the altitude is dropped by three. Okay, which leaves me ending up at minus four. Uh, alternatively, I could have done a minus one plus a minus three, which should still give me the same result, but it's a very, the concept is different. Now again, I'll start off with a minus one here. Okay, so here is my one sandbag, leaving me at an altitude of minus one, and I'm adding minus three. In other words, I'm adding three sandbags to it, and I've added three sandbags on there, and now it is going to drop three uh, also back down to the altitude of minus four. All right, so now uh, I'm going to ask you to use uh, these particular, th this model of an airbag and a sandbag uh, to, and the, and the balloon model of the integers to think about, um, and the, for your homework, to think about how integers work together to, to uh, answer some questions.